So what you see here is my electric motorcycle being charged by my Prius. It's pretty cool. We've got handy dandy little outlet here from the battery that gives me 200 to 250 volts DC depending on state of charge and whether the battery is charging from the engine or not, which it currently is now by the, uh, the gas motor up there. As you can see, it's drawn it down a bit from when I plugged it in. So I need to monitor that because it doesn't have any way to stop my bike from charging. But I've just got my handy dandy cord here. Follow it inside. Can't see too well in there, but that is Meanwell RSP 1048, two of them. That is happy to accept either AC or DC input. And it seems to be doing just fine right now, so I'm happy about that. Let's see how long this can go on. Right now I am pulling 2.1 kilowatts. Probably more like 2,500 watts from the, the battery, considering the efficiency. And I'm told that the Prius is able to uh, put three kilowatts into the battery just at a standstill doing what it's doing now. So should be able to do it for a long time, but got a NEMA L630 twist lock plug straight into the bike. So after a few more minutes of charging, the Prius has kicked off the engine. So it's gotten the engine up to temperature. And as you can see, no longer charging the battery. It did recover to three bars there from two charging. Now at 2.2 kilowatts, straight out of the Prius battery. But with things coming out of there at 2.2 kilowatts and nothing going in, it shouldn't be too long before the Prius decides to fire up again. Down to two bars. Engine should kick on anytime. Obviously not the way you always want to charge your bike from a gas engine. Not much of a point in having an electric motorcycle that you have to charge from a gas engine, but this would be very handy living in rural Utah um, to get rescued if I end up someplace that I ran out of charge or to get me out of the valley because there's no um, charging points uh, for 71 miles around where I am now. So this could be a good way to kind of slingshot me out of the valley into a place where I can actually get charging, which I might do this weekend uh, going up to Salt Lake City for the National Drive Electric Week. Taking a look at the screen up there. Still at two bars. Won't last long. The battery in this thing is, I think, nominally only 1.3 kilowatts and the car only, there you go. Engine back on now. So one of the technical considerations that I'm gonna have to figure out is uh, stopping charge. I don't want to just uh, turn the Prius off because then the contactor will be breaking a active load of uh, about 13 amps or something like that um, and I don't want to do the same with my cord there because then I've got a live arc right next to my hand I think what I'm going to do is if you look down in there you can see CN50 which is a control connector for the mean well, and I think I can just yank the little um, pin connector out of there uh, to stop the charge. That'll disable output on one of the mean wells, and I think that'll help me to safely stop the charge without creating an arc someplace. I've been timing the duty cycle of the motor. It turns on for about four minutes and 20 seconds and turns off for about three minutes. I so I can report that pulling out the CN50 con connector on the meanwhile does effectively stop the charge and allow me to break the connection without creating a hazardous arc situation. But obviously I'm gonna to wanna to put a switch on there or something other than just reaching my fingers in there next to all that stuff. But anyway, that's charging an electric motorcycle from a Prius.